Hi hey all, this is Anjali and in this class we are going to discuss output questions with while loop. So output questions first I should tell you are very important for your class 12th information practices board exam because you get at least two questions for outputs with either for loop, while loop or do while loop. So you need to practice them properly so that you should not lose the mark. Now when we get the questions for the output the very simple criteria which you have to follow is just go step by step. So you know the syntax of the loop, you know that first initialization is done, then condition is checked, then statements are executed, and then increment, decrement is done, and again condition is checked. So just follow these steps and you will get the correct answer. Now in case of entry control loop, and this one given over here in this question is an exit control loop, that is do while. The only difference is here you have to check the condition first before entering the loop and here you have to check the condition while coming out of the loop. So this one will not work if the condition is false for the first time but this one will work at least once even if the condition is false. Let's see how these, this code works over here in this example. So question is what will be the values of variables sum and sum1 after the execution of the following loops. Okay, let's go for the working of loop A first. Now here we have a variable V which is initially 6 and sum is initially 0. So we check if 6 is greater than 3. Yes, 6 is greater than 3. It's true. So it comes here and we add that V to sum. It's written sum plus equal to V. That means sum should be added with V and whatever is the result that should be stored back in sum. So sum is initially 0 and V is 6. 0 plus 6 gives me 6. After that, the next line is V minus equal to 2. That means V should be decreased by 2. So it was 6 initially. When it is decreased by 2, we get 4. After getting 4, we go over here again to check the condition. Now 4 greater than 3 is true. It's true, so it comes inside here. It adds the value of V to the sum. This time, you're not going to take sum as 0. You're going to take the sum what value we got in the last iteration. So we got 6 in sum in the last iteration. This time v is 4. So 6 plus 4 becomes 10. So 10 is the new value of sum. Then v is decreased by 2 and we are left with 2 in v. It goes here again to check the condition. 2 greater than 3 is false. So the loop stops. Thus the final value of sum in loop a is 10. Now let's move on to loop b. In loop B, we have W as 6 and sum 1 as 0. There is no condition on the top since it's exit control. We just move inside without checking any condition. And the 6 gets added to sum 1. So sum 1 was initially 0. 0 plus 6 gives you 6. Then W is decreased by 2. We get 4. And the first condition is checked here. 4 greater than 3. Yes, it is true. We'll go up here again and enter into the loop. When we enter into the loop, this time, sum 1 was already 6, w is 4, so 6 plus 4 gives me 10. Then w is decreased by 2, becomes 2. 2 greater than 3 is false, we stop here. Thus, the value of sum 1 is also 10. So in this case, loop A gives me 10 in sum, and loop B gives me 10 in sum 1. So that's how we execute the loops and get the output. So here's the next question where we have a code again with while loop and we need to tell what will be the output for this. So initially we have x as 5 and y as 1. The condition being checked is while x is greater than 0. That means 5 greater than 0. Yes, it is true. It will execute the first line first and then this one. The order of statements matter a lot. So here x is decreased first. It becomes 4. And then we have to multiply x with y. Now y is initially 1 and what about x? x was 5 but just in one statement before it has become 4. So we are going to take 4, the current value of x. So current value of x is 4. So 1 into 4 gives me 4. And then the value of y is added in the text area because of the line text area 1 dot append string dot value of y. So y is converted to a string and we append it to the text area with a new line. That means all numbers will come on the next line in the text area. So the first number which goes to text area is 4 in this example. 
then we move on to while here again x is 4 now 4 greater than 0 is true so it comes here x becomes 3 when it comes here y became 4 in the last iteration x is right now 3 so 4 into 3 is 12 that goes to the next area then we check for x greater than 0 where x is 3 so x greater than 0 is true 3 is greater than 0 x becomes 2 we multiply the last value of y which was 12 with 2 and get 24 which goes in the text area then we check if x is greater than 0 that is 2 is greater than 0 yeah it is true then we get 1 and 24 into 1 is 24 only we show it in the text area and then x is checked again with 0 yes 1 is greater than 0 condition is true but 24 multiplied by 0 gives me 0 so we show 0 in the text area and this time when we check x greater than 0 0 greater than 0 gives me false so the loop stops here and whatever has been added in the text area till now is the output of the question so we get hold this thing as the output each number on a separate line because we have backslash n over here hope this is clear how is it working now for the next two questions you should just try doing it of your own first they are quite simple easy just summation you have to do so before seeing the answer just try it of your own have a paper have a pen solve it of your own with the complete working you surely get the correct answer pause the video and after solving match the answer so i hope by now you have solved it answer of the question is 25 i hope it's correct now let's see how do we get 25 match your working as well how do we get 25 here i is initially 1 1 less than 10 is true so we add it to sum sum is initially 0 0 plus 1 becomes 1 then we have i plus equal to 2 which makes i 3 then it goes up here again 3 less than 10 is true sum becomes 4 and i becomes 5 5 less than 10 is also true so sum was 4, 4 plus 5 becomes 9 and i becomes 7, 7 less than 10 is also true. So previous sum was 9, 9 plus 7 becomes 16 and i becomes 9, 9 less than 10 is true. So previous sum was 16, 16 plus 9 is 25 and i becomes 11. When i becomes 11 the condition becomes false 11 less than 10 is false we don't repeat further so final output is 25 okay now let's have this question again solve it of your own and then match the answer right so the answer for the question is 9 and how do we get 9 in this how do we get 9 in this i is initially 2 j is 5 it checks whether 2 is less than j that is 2 is less than 5 yes it is true it's added to the sum which is initially 0 so 0 plus 2 gives you 2 i plus plus will make i as 3 so 3 less than 5 is true previous sum that is 2 plus 3 gives me 5 as the new value of sum i becomes 4 4 less than 5 is true again sum plus i so previous sum was 5 plus 4 gives me 9 i becomes 5 and 5 less than 5 is false we stop thus the final value of sum over here is 9 hope you understood how the code works how do you reach to the final output so keep practicing because practice is the only thing which can give you perfection in this so keep practicing and you will get to the correct results in case you haven't got it this time so go through the video once again, understand how the flow is going, how the statements are executing and try it again. In case you have some other questions where you're not able to find the output, having while loop, for loop, do while loop, any of the loop, just post the question in the comment section below and I'll get back to you with the solution for that. I hope you understood the video. In case yes, do like it, share with your friends and yes, don't forget to subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you.